The polymerase chain reaction, or PCR, is an alternative to cloning for isolating a DNA sequence. PCR can selectively amplify a single copy of a desired sequence that is present in a complex mixture of other DNA molecules. In this example, a mixture of genomic DNA molecules, shown as blue ribbons, contains the sequence we wish to amplify called the target sequence, shown in green. With PCR, we can make billions of copies of the target sequence without having to purify it beforehand. In the first cycle of PCR, the DNA molecules are melted by raising the temperature to 95 degrees. After the strands have separated, the temperature is lowered to 60 degrees so that a pair of short oligonucleotide primers specific for the three prime ends of the target sequence can bind, one primer on each strand. The primers then direct a DNA polymerase called TAC to synthesize the complementary DNA strands from free nucleotides. In the entire mixture of genomic DNA molecules, only DNA containing the target sequence is copied because the TAC polymerase can only copy molecules that have a primer attached. At the end of cycle one, both strands of the genomic DNA molecule have been copied to form two partially double-stranded DNA molecules. In the next cycle, the same steps are repeated. DNA duplexes are again melted by heating to 95 degrees. Since TAC polymerase has the special property of being thermal stable, it is not inactivated at this high temperature. The primers anneal to the target when the temperature is lowered, and the target strands are extended by the TAC polymerase. the temperature can be raised to 72 degrees to speed this reaction. At the end of cycle two, four partially double-stranded molecules are produced.